today we're going to make a practical set piece and we're going to ditch electronics for colored tape. Let's go. Hey, how's it going? Anthony Fro here at Crate Sci-Fi. Well, I'm going through my script, getting down to the nitty gritty. Got to make a few more props. The one that popped up in the script here is he just looks at this gauge. It's not a good thing in the script, right? Drama. But I'm like, eh, I don't want to use lights and stuff. And then I thought, oh, let's, let's do it with tape. So it's basically a a light switch cover on steroids <laughs> i already made it but here's the piece but what i'm going to go through in this because it's so basic i typically blow over the 3d modeling stuff i do to print but this is so simple that this i wanted to share because everything that i do when i say diy it's like i try to figure out what's the easiest way i could do this i don't want to go to 3d cad university for a year i just need this thing how do i do that and that's basically the impetus and how I, I i proceed with everything that i do in life and in this channel right so this one i do want to share with you so i'm going to show you how i easily just in photoshop create a vector image then i bring that into a free software online that transforms it to a svg file which is a vector that i can manipulate in 3d space then i bring it into like a I don't know, like an elementary school 3D program and make this and print it. It'll all make sense when I go over it and it's super simple. And that's why I wanted to share the whole process with you on this one, right? So the end result, we're still gonna paint this. We're gonna do the whole thing that we do. And I'm gonna show you how I use the tape to create different levels, different stories within this, right? So, I think the best thing we'll just start in Photoshop and then I'll take you through to the end to the printing and the painting and we'll go on that journey together let's go all right we're hopping right into Photoshop so what I did is went online and just found some meters I wanted something kind of utilitarian looking and I'm not going to copy this but I don't know it just gives you ideas so you don't have to overthink it so I'm serving the script with this piece right so I got the logo that appears in everything on the set. And the, the purpose of this piece is, oh, the oxygen is low, right? So oxygen, I want the word oxygen big, right? 100% danger on, off, right? Just keeping it simple, right? The kiss technique, keep it simple, stupid. So, so do you, you get what I'm saying, right? The idea, the whole purpose of this prop is to move the story, the story forward, right? So we need to uh, show that, hey, the, the stakes are increasing. We have more drama. This oxygen is getting dangerously low. And it's one, in, in film, in the, in the script, when we actually film it, when I edit it, probably be on screen for four seconds, right? So you see what I'm saying. So it just needs to be straightforward. And then now what I do is I take that JPEG, I bring it into this free program online, and it's gonna convert it into a SVG file, a vector file. So then this is Tinkercad. This is like elementary school free CAD, right? And it's free. So what I'm doing here, and again, because I like to keep things simple, I don't know if my measurements are right. So I know if I make this box, the measurements that I need it to be, then I can take this 3D thing that we created and put it in. And all we do is we bring it in with the SVG and we're going to increase the size of it. And then boom, there we have a 3D thing to 3D print. And that was super simple, right? I don't want to overstate like, oh, it's so easy, but it, it kind of is that easy. So I just wanted to share, usually I gloss over this, but this is my process for doing this. And I'll link to the, the vector converter and uh, the uh, Tinkercad. Now here, wait, spoiler alert. I was like, you know what? This oxygen regulator is good, but I didn't like it. So I just did the whole process again. And I made this one and I made it in Russian because all we had to see was that O2. So while the Russian is, may be more complicated because it's not in English 
the O2, everybody knows what O2 is. So it's going to be O2 and then we're going to see red. And then I can tell that story in four seconds, five seconds, right? So I 3D printed that. So now ah, take a breath. We get to go into the workshop and do what we love to do. And this makes me happy. This is my happy place, right? So typical stuff. We're going to have to sand this. There's, you know, that's the thing. Like people are always like, oh, you just 3D printed. Like, you know, uh, they get mad about that. But it's, it's still so much work. Like, that's why I don't understand. And, and typically, if I can go on a side quest here, typically when people complain about stuff, it's people who can't do stuff, right? So if you see a comment where somebody's being really nasty, just click on their link and see what they've done. I guarantee you that they've done nothing. <laughs> I don't know why I digressed, but anyway. So here I have some standing sanding sticks. All the time when I go to the hobby store, the point of purchase, I always get sanding sticks and little files. And then here is just some sandpaper. We're gonna clean up the edges. Not using any uh, electric tools on this because I don't want to rip it apart. It's all pretty straightforward. And all this is is really like a uh, <laughs> like a light switch on steroids. But it's important, right? This is a prop that is going to tell a story, right? So if it was just in the background set decoration, you go online, you go to Timu, you go to the dollar store, you just buy something that looks like it, stick it on the wall, good. But this is a, a storytelling prop. So we got to take some time with it. Taking time usually equals sanding. <laughs> so here, I got it pretty good. It's got that honeycomb on there I'm not crazy about, but I'll, I'll definitely make sure to uh, put a pretty heavy coat of primer on there to get, to get rid of that. And these sanding sticks, when I do need them, oh man, they're amazing. But now I just go to my palm sander, my handy dandy go to happy place. And I wrote some little Russian letters on there that are like on, off, reset. And again, those in my style of making, those will all get sort of covered up and they won't really be seen. But to the eye in that four seconds subconsciously, oh, you know, you, you'll assume what it is. And in this case, we want that. So here's some isopropyl alcohol to get rid of my dirty fingerprints and any uh, leftover uh, sanding dust. And the reason that's good to use isopropyl alcohol is because the train is going. We want to, you know, we want to be efficient. And then this stuff will flash off. Whereas if you washed it with water, you might paint it too soon and there might be some water left over and mess up your paint job. Here I'm using my air to speed up the process hair dryer i use the heck out of the hair dryer i gotta tell you the hair dryer is one of those things where it's just a hair dryer you don't give it too much thought and then it's like oh i actually like really use that a lot so here i uh we're gonna give it a few coats of paint i think this i'm gonna use some of the expensive tamiya primer just for the base coat just because that stuff is like magic but you don't have to use that. And then here I just put a, another coat of primer just to, to thicken it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna base coat it with some black. And here, you know, we gotta dry this up quick. So I'm gonna use the hair dryer. It's not quite dry enough. So what else can I use to dry? Oh, my book. I wrote a book. <laughs> Check out my book, link in the description. It talks about how I make all these props and costumes and sets before I have the actual budget to shoot and why I do that and how I do that. Check it out. All right, so here is the, the idea that I had to make this super simple, right? So I got the laser cutter. You don't need the laser cutter. You can just use a knife or a saw or whatever because this is just going to be an insert. You could do this with poster board. I just have the laser cutter, so I'm like, you know what? Let me just uh, cut a couple of uh, little um, bucks, I would call them, right? A little, a couple little pieces so that I can uh, tell the story about where the level is of the oxygen. So here I'm just cleaning this up because I am going to be inserting a piece and there's going to be two of them and I want it to fit nicely because I'm going to swap them out off camera. So that's the, the width and the height I needed to be. And here I am smoking out the shop. And again, I could have just used a, a razor 
cut that out of foam, cut it out of foam core. I had the laser cutter, so I did this. So now I have these chips. What are we calling them? Bucks, chips, thingamabobbers. And there I'm just sort of penciling in where I want it to be different levels. So I have this colored electrical tape, but I was like, oh, let's just do it with this. So yellow, right, is like sort of the warning color. Then green is all good. So my idea was it'll be green, the oxygen level will be fine, and that'll just be in the background like throughout 90% of the film. But then there's a moment where some lights start flashing and it's like the stakes are high and it's a tense moment. And he looks at that unit and then we show a close-up of that unit and that's when it's going to be the level is red, right? So it's going to tell that story in four seconds. Boom. It's like, you'll see O2, you'll see red. Your brain will be like, oh, he's in trouble. So now I'm going to dry brush it. And all the dry brushing does is just gives a little kick, gives it a little, um, again, we're, we're kind of tricking synapses. That sounds like a lofty idea, but that's all it is. Again, I'm going to say this for the billionth time. You're going to see it for four seconds, close up. The, it'll just kick off in your head that it's a metal thing. And I just like it. And the rest of the set pieces are painted similar to this. So, uh, my nail polishes. I love my nail polishes. So these buttons, I'm going to paint them with nail polish and it's just going to give them, it's going to do a couple things. It's, it's going to make them a totally different sort of tactile look, tactile with your eyes. <laughs> it's just going to give them sort of a different look than the rest of the piece. So that'll trick your brain into thinking these are actual buttons. It's not all printed as one piece. And the colors are always, uh, I like the colors. And because, you know, you notice, you know, I'm an older dude. I got the shaky hands. Something about the thick, thick viscosity of the uh, nail polish that actually helps me out to kind of paint things in a, in a finer way. And especially with the raised lettering, it's just a good combination. I, I like using the nail polish. And then the O2, because I've been saying all throughout this piece that's the story i'm telling i'm gonna paint that white because i want that to pop and there it is right oh two and then it's going to be the red electrical tape and we're going to say oh no running on oxygen and having just talked about my um nail polishes there i had to just touch up a little with some flat black so here i have some dust on these now we dusted them all up it's starting to look all beat up like the rest of the, the ship, right? I got the schmear. The reason I like this instead of Fuller's Earth is it's not going to kill me if I do inhale it, but I do have a mask on there. And I do I go back and forth between the dust and the washes, but the dust, I don't know. I just like the way it looks on camera. It sells something's old and been there forever better. And there it is just double checking they look good in place and that's the whole effect and here's the beauty shots boom right so no electronics i didn't have to wire any leds we're telling the story and this will be effective and yeah so i wanted to take you through that whole process and again i don't even remember what that writing says it's not important o2 is low yeah low cost high impact right so Throughout most of the film, this is just going to be on the wall in the background, just like this. Might, might not even, most likely, you, you won't even notice that, right? But it's there, it's part of the set. Then, in the third act, when there's drama, at a certain point, whatever this is measuring, all of a sudden he looks at it and it's red. Oh no. Right? So it doesn't have to turn on or whatever. It's like it'll be in the background. And then for this particular scene, because it's a, a close-up moment, I'll swap it out for that one. And it's like, oh, no. <laughs> right? <laughs> Sounds simple, but it's very effective. And I've mentioned before that I've been doing this enough now where, you know, the tendency might be like, oh, you know, we can just 
get a Raspberry Pi or, or we can do that in post and add the lights. Like, yes, but all that stuff is so much trouble compared to like, we just made this out of tape. It's gonna do, uh, it's gonna be on the wall. And now, if this film was about, the title of it was, that meter on the wall scares me. <laughs> well, <laughs> then we would have to wire it and light it and you know make it appropriate but for my uses i do need it to switch right i need it to be red it says in the script i believe it's red right so that needs to happen but otherwise right don't want to overthink it i'm going to be shooting this film for one day so i babbled on about that but i feel it's an important point so as always i hope you found this useful we got patreon i got a book there's links everywhere you know the drill that helps it really does help but I don't want to turn you off by talking about the books and the Patreon. Check out the links if you're interested, and it's really cool if you support. And remember, I'm just here to help make sci-fi. <laughs> Let's kick it to the Avatar. Hey, I'm just the Avatar, but you might want to check out this video, maybe that video. For sure, subscribe if you haven't, and check out the merch. Buy some merch that really helps. But hey, what do I know? I'm just the Avatar. Ha! <laughs>